Hello everyone, welcome to GED. We have some garlic kimchi today with some green tea on the side, and we're talking about Borderlands 3. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So guys, this is some amazingly <laughs> pungent kimchi. I wish you guys could smell this. It is like super, super strong. And please let me know if you like or dislike kimchi because it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of an acquired taste, but at the same time, it, it's very delicious, you know? It's not nothing too out of the ordinary and, you know, it's just amazing. Oh yeah, that is crunchy, that is garlicky, so strong, so good. You might be going, ew, ew, what is that? <laughs> but yeah, it. I mean, look at the spice, look at the deliciousness. Let's move this closer here for you guys. Check that out, oh man, dripping with goodness. Kimchi is traditionally not really a main meal. And I don't have a lot of it here. It's traditionally, you know, a side dish or perhaps a topping. But man, I had this kimchi in my fridge and I was just like, I need to share this with you guys. And speaking of needing to share this with you guys, March 28th in Boston, teasers, teasers, man. Borderlands 3, is it gonna happen? Is it really going to happen this year? If you don't know, there's been Twitter posts of images of a road sign that says, you know, the 28th of Boston, 28th of March in Boston, exit number three, number three guys, exit number three, as totally totally Borderlands style of imagery. As well to go along with that, there's tons of other subtle hints being dropped all over the internet. <sighs> there's, a, there's a blurred out image of a famous, iconic Borderlands building. You can research it yourselves, guys. I'm not gonna show it here, that's not what we do. We show delicious meals and talk about it. Ooh, that garlic coming through strong. I do have just some green tea here. Ooh. Wow. Look at this, guys. A whole green onion. Just ready for its debut. Whole little green onion there, spiced up. Garlicky, peppery. So at least two characters Two characters from Borderlands 3, or supposedly from Borderlands 3, have been hinted, teased, revealed, I don't know what to call it. There's a Beastmaster that controls three different beasts, based probably based on spec, because you know usually they have three different talent trees. And there's kind of a soldier-esque character that is rumored to control a huge mech, like huge mech. We're talking like major destructive device here. And if the beast master is real, that's already I know, like for me, that's going to be my class. I love all the pet classes 
in the Borderlands series. I've always played the soldier with the turret, the mechanized robot pet class, the um, Saint and Wolf, uh, I can't think, Wilhelm type characters. And it's just what I do. It's just what I like, me as a player. And you guys might, you know, like the Psyker type classes or the big guns blazing type classes. And it it's great because Borderlands always scratches that itch, doesn't it? Granted, the most recent ones, uh, they kind of left a little bit, bit to be desired. But when you think about the the mods, the random guns, the replayability with friends, the overall story arc that's you know been expanding and how cool it's been, what a ride for everyone. It's just, guys, it's Borderlands. It's hard to explain. It's good all around. I'm almost tempted, almost tempted, to go back and blo uh, blow through the prequel, Borderlands prequel, because I, I played through it, but I, I almost forget what happened in that storyline. Whereas the other ones kind of, you know, are more visual. I really, really wish you guys could see the epicness of this spice and this kimchi. Oh, man. Ooh, it is intense. And you're probably like, how can he even eat all that kimchi? But it, it does taste fantastic, let me tell you. So, yeah. Borderlands 3. What's it going to be, guys? Let me know in the comments what you think about all this internet hype that's running around. If it's announced in the later part of March, or if you see this video after that, let me know what you think, how you feel. Are you part of the mass that is overly hyped, overly excited, and over the top? No matter what you do, remember, there will be bazillions of guns out there for you, and Gamey Discuss will be right here. Take it easy, guys. Let's discuss this.